Hi again, thank you so much for joining me on this video. Today I wanted to address the subject of my thought process when it comes to lava rock, small lava rock in this case, because since a few months I've only started using large lava rock for crocking, filling up space in a big pot where I don't need all the water retention and if I'm wasting small lava rock. I wanted to explain my thought process regarding lava rock and semi-hydro and what orchids do I put in there because I have a problem with how abrasive and how detrimentally damaging lava rock can be on roots when it comes to repotting an orchid. So my judgment regarding lava rock and using it as a media has to be something where an orchid can stay in the pot for five to eight years at least, in, in my opinion. And I can achieve that with roots that are super fine and with rhizomes that are not in any way climbing, rambling, spreading out quickly or fast. And you can see that here as an example is my Dendrobium tetragonum, variety giganteum, one of my little favorites, which I need to, again, harvest the moss from the surface. This has been in its pot three years now. And there has not been much difference to the base of the orchid, even though I have had plenty of new growths since I've received it. It is in small lava rock in a classic semi-hydro setup. So there is a reservoir at the bottom. But if this has been in this pot now three years and it hasn't actually seemed to expand at all at the base, it can be in this pot at least for another three years, bringing me to six years. And then I don't have a problem with using lava rock and very, very fine roots because I'm not disturbing the orchid. The media is staying intact. There is no decay going on whatsoever. And the beauty of this whole setup with small lava rock and semi-hydro is also the fact that if I would need to keep the orchid on a drier side, because that is what it prefers, I can do that. I also say that the size of the pot with inorganic media is really not an issue. It's just a question of proportionally, does it make sense with regards to the orchid? However, if I keep a smaller pot with small lava rock and a reservoir, then I can achieve a certain drier ambience in the pot to accommodate what the orchid prefers with regards to its growth habit. I have another orchid right here next to it. Similar concept, very small base, not a rambler, not a climber, fine roots. The pot is a little bit larger because the orchid as such is also going to be a little bit taller. But I can leave this orchid, Dendrobium aurantiflammeum, in this pot for at least, what do you guess? At least eight years because of how close the growths are from the base of the orchid how fine the roots are. This orchid can be in here for at least eight years. Of course, if nothing goes wrong, and I am not discussing any worst case scenario, I'm talking about long-term setup without having to mess about and just let the orchid develop and grow. And for me, that is when I use small lava rock with fine roots, being able to monitor how wet or dry the ambience of the pot is depending on what the orchid is doing. In some instances, if I need more water retention, I will start to use Akadama, and then I can really control that with regards to flushing through the pot, tipping the reservoir and emptying it so it has, hasn't got that wet feel during the colder months of the year. Right now, my Tetragonum is doing nothing, in adverted commas, it had its first flush of blooms a couple of weeks ago. So 
Right now, it might be thinking of bringing out a second flush, but I make sure that every once in a while, maybe once a week, I flush through the pot with plain RO water. There is no fertilizer or nothing going into this pot. And with regards to my Aranti Plameum, she is growing actively. These are all new roots. Down in the bottom, she has a she came with a great root system which was packed in sphagnum moss. So those roots were already very used to a water retentive environment. And in this pot, I mix up Ap Akadama as a layer in the middle of the pot where the roots that grew in sphagnum moss will have a lot more water retention than, for example, just small lava rock would be. But the size of the pot and the media and the fact that I can manipulate any drier conditions that she would like is why I use small lava rock. And you will see that in several of my setups. Why is one small lava rock as opposed to others with leka? That is because of the size of the roots. Fine, small rhizome, narrow growth habit. I can leave them in here for years and years and years. When it comes to repotting, then I will have it much easier as well to get them out because the pot is small, easy to squeeze. This one, not so much, but because of its size, I can manipulate and squeeze the pot in order to get the orchid out with minimal disturbance. And the same with this one, easy to squeeze and get the orchid out and then pot her up again into a bigger pot using lava rock again. But the intention initially is to find a forever setup without having to disturb the orchids too much. And that is why I use small lava rock when it comes to fine roots and especially on dendrobiums with a very narrow growth habit at the base. So I hope that that was helpful in case you are wondering when you see my setup, what is going on with this and why is it like that? That is my explanation, my thought process regarding small lava rock, fine roots, and small pots. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you're having a wonderful day. Take care and stay safe. Bye.